What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Legacy Farm, the podcast. I'm your host, Jace Young, and today's topic of discussion is this, the problems that we prayed for. So if you are a business owner like me, then you understand or at least can resonate with the simple fact that on a day-to-day -day basis, your life consist of solving an endless amount of problems. So I am no different than every other business owner and entrepreneur out there. Some of my problems are pretty big, some of them are pretty small, but regardless though, every single day we are committing to a life of solving problems. Now, one thing that we've always dealt with inside of Legacy Farmer is people want to come in because there's problems that they obviously need to solve though, but there's a difference between taking action to solve problems versus just complaining about problems. And in my journey of uh, being an entrepreneur, most of you that have listened to my podcast know I left the banking industry back in 2016. I would say back in 2016, 2017, 2018, I wasn't interested in solving problems. I was interested in complaining about problems. I was in victim mode still. And I think a lot of people go through this transition, especially if you've went from being an employee to being an entrepreneur. I think it's inevitable that you're going to go through this experience because there is a transformation that has to happen because when you are the only one that is responsible for your results in your life, you can't hide anymore. And I think the biggest pain for me in 2016, 2017, 2018 is I was failing, right? I was struggling. I was trying to figure out, okay, what is my position going to be? What, what am I going to do with my life? And I was on this endless search of trying to find a way that I could add value and find purpose inside of my life. And the thing is, though, is that most employees today, they're victims. Most kids today, they're victims. And it's not their fault. I'm not calling anybody out. It's because the system trains us to be that way, or at least that is my opinion of it. I do not have a great opinion of traditional school and, and things that we are taught or college or anything like that as well. I, I believe a lot of it is wasted dollars and wasted time, um, especially on the college standpoint, unless you're going into some specialized you know, type of position there, like a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. But most of the part, everything I learned inside my finance degree, Fort Hayes State University, none of it that I was was taught back then is relevant or applicable to what I deal with today when it comes to looking at numbers. Now, the reason I bring this up again is because we are trained to be victims and there is a transformation that happens, at least there was for me from 16, 17 and 18 to where I quit living in the land of being a victim and I started taking ownership over my life that I created, right? My life had a lot of problems and a lot of challenges and a lot of financial problems at that time as well. I think a lot of people go through this, but through that time, you want to immediately shift your mindset into victimhood and blaming anyone and everything around you to ultimately absolve yourself from any of the responsibility, right? That's what we want to do. And that's where our mind takes us to doing that. So I don't even think people know that they're doing it. It's just, again, how we were trained in the system I feel like that's our automatic reaction to that type of scenario. And you've probably experienced this, you've probably seen people in your life that are actually operating in this way right now. I definitely can name a list of people that I know personally that are operating in this place of victimhood and they never want to take accountability or responsibility for the results or the actions that they've taken inside of their life, right? They're always looking for somebody to blame. So anyways, I went through this transition here and ultimately as you go through this, you're just gonna start taking ownership of your life. You get to a point where you're finally done with your own bullshit, to be frank with you, and you finally look at your life and you look at all the results that you have and you get to a point where there's nobody else to blame but you, right? And so what we do though, is that we start praying for a different future. At least I did, right? I was, I was journaling and writing out my prayers back in 2018 and 2019 about things that I wanted and desired for my life, whether that's wealth, whether it's abundance, whether it's freedom, what, whatever it is. And I was praying for those things back then. Like, and I feel a lot of business owners actually do this today as well. But the thing is though, is that as we get along in our journey of building a business though, a lot of those things that we pray for actually come to fruition. Now, again, if you are praying for things and then you're not taking action towards it, I don't believe God is going to reward you or open doors for you. You can't just pray for things and have them magically appear. I think you probably know this if you're listening to this podcast. So I had to pray for things, but then I had to take action and have a tremendous amount of faith that those things were going to come to fruition inside of my life. Now, the thing is, though, is that God is not going to open up those doors if we are living in victimhood. And now when we're thinking about this and the problem that you prayed for and as we go along this journey inside of our business a lot of the problems that you're facing today again you prayed for them but the thing is though is that we still want to be pissed off about them 
And the question is, is like, is that really fair? I'm checking myself on this too. I'm not trying to talk down to anybody or anything like this, because I think every business owner deals with this on some level, no matter how far advanced you are in life or business or anything like that. I think we all go through these stages to where, yeah, there's problems that we deal with every single day that trigger us, right? They piss us off, they're annoying. So it's like, it's never going to end. It's like, when, when, when is, are we going to have a final solution for this problem to where I am ultimately getting the life that I want? And we don't have the awareness to stop and pause. And like for me, for example, I'm thinking, Jace, it's 2024. Think back to what you were praying for in 2018, 2019. But have those things come to fruition, right? Do you have the house you wanted? Do you have the family and the lifestyle that you wanted and everything? And I can honestly say that, yes, I do have all of those things. So do I have any right to complain about the problems I have to solve to make those things come into my life and be a reality for me? Probably not, you know, and that, that I'm just sharing this because it's an interesting perspective to look at this, to try to get you to reframe and myself included, reframe how we look at the problems and the challenges in our life and really think back like, okay, did I pray for this problem, this business problem back five years ago? Because solving these types of problems are what leads to ultimately our goals, right? And if your goal is greater wealth, and this is, this is a quote that I'll, I'll never forget. If you wanna make more money, solve bigger problems. So all of us are trying to build businesses and solve bigger and bigger problems and make more and more money, which requires us to solve those bigger problems, which requires us to take on different levels of adversity, which requires us to transform as people in every aspect of our life. And so I share this message with you today, my friend, because I want you to look at the plate ultimately that you're eating off of that you prayed for. And now you're complaining about the plate. Like it's an interesting, you know, viewpoint there to look at things. But the reality is I, I wanted to share this message today with you to, to kind of put you into, put it into perspective a little bit. So you readjust how you're looking at the problems and really ask yourself the question, okay, did I pray for these problems five or 10 years ago? Okay. And, and really thinking about that. Some of you may say, well, no, I definitely didn't pray about them. The only reason I ever even remember praying about them is because I have it in my journal from back at that time. Otherwise, yeah, we're praying about things a lot. I, I feel like at least, and uh, the things you prayed about five, six, 10 years ago, you probably don't remember unless you have some record of it, which is the only reason I'm bringing this up today. So my friends, at the end of the day, all the problems and the challenges that you are facing in your life, if you are a business owner and you are trying to build something that is going to create tremendous wealth or legacy or freedom or whatever it is for you, for your family, you have to understand that what you are going to have to overcome in order to make those things a reality inside of your life is to solve problems. And in order to solve bigger and bigger problems, you have to become a bigger and bigger person as well and really develop and transform as a business owner, as, as a leader inside of your organization, as a family person, like in every aspect of life. And I think these are the things that really drag us down sometimes. But honestly, it's because we have the wrong perspective on what is happening and what journey God is leading us through in our life. And I feel you know, at the end of the day, God has a destiny for all of us and everything that you're going through right now is just part of the plan, All right, So just relax, take a deep breath, do something to uh, kind of chill out a little bit and just trust the process and trust that God is leading you exactly where you desire to go. It's not our job to determine and tell him exactly what we want to happen in the journey. It's our job to leave that up to him, right? And we want the result. And a lot of times the way that we get to the result is never the way that we had originally planned in our minds about 99.9% .9 of the time. And uh, we just have to trust him and let go and let things happen on his watch and his time and do not try to rush that process. So my friends, that concludes today's episode. Hope you found it valuable and we will catch you on the next one.